hello guys so in this trigger uh, we have a scenario where we will send an email to the client contact which is a filled on account we which we have earlier discussed in the last trigger scenario so when an opportunity line item will be inserted then an email will be sent to the client contact of that account okay now let's discuss so we know when the opportunity line item will be inserted and each opportunity line item is connected to a opportunity so as we know and after that there is an account id on opportunity and each of this that account have a contact and uh, on account we have created a custom field called client contact where we are passing the contact id of that account contact which is related to that account so when the opportunity line item will be inserted it will check account id by using the opportunity object from opportunity it will fetch out the account id and after that it will send an email to the client contact so that's the scenario which we are going to perform so here i have a trigger named opportunity line item to email which is on opportunity line item object because we are inserting a record on opportunity line item and the context of this trigger is after insert because this trigger will will be executed once the record is inserted so for opportunity line item trigger dot new because we are inserting a new record and after that let's fetch the opportunity id select id account id from opportunity where id is equals to opportunity line item dot opportunity id so this query will fetch out the account id and the opportunity id uh, where the opportunity line item that record which we have inserted is the id of that opportunity okay now we have to fetch one more thing that is uh, account dot client id underscore underscore c because this is a custom field and after that we will use limit because there may be a more than one opportunity on the same opportunity line item so limit one okay and after that what we are gonna do is we will fetch out the account id using the opportunity id so account so here we are passing the opportunity account id uh, in this field so that we can fetch out the account id along with its uh, first name and last name or we will fetch out the client id okay so here we are passing the opportunity uh, account id and after that we are uh, fetching the account record and once the account is fetched we will check for the contact id
so we are passing the client id from the account to the contact to fetch out the contact id along with that we need the last name of this contact email to send the email and after that we will limit it by one so four we will check if this contains a record or not if it's empty so for that we will check if it's null or not is not is equals to null if it's not null then we are gonna uh, send an email for email we used messaging dot single email message first parameter which we are going to pass is set to address to address and here we will pass new string and after that we will pass the email id that would be cone dot email after that pass email dot uh, set subject subject will be your order has been proceed order has been proceed after that we will pass the body to this email so for that we use uh, email dot set plain text body and here we will pass the body of it so we will use email body variable and after that let's initiate it email body is equals to uh, hi and after that we have to pass the name of that uh, client so we will use cone dot first name and after that we will go to the next line email body and after that we will assign other values like product name or product code so we will use product name opportunity line item dot product dot name and we have to pass the product code as well so for that we will use product code email body dot and we will use unit price
and at the last we will give some regards that will be user info so for that we will use user info user info dot cat first name and after that we will use space user info dot cat last name and after that we will pass the email body to the plain text now we have to send that e this email so for that we will create a list of single image messaging Now let's send this email but before sending it let's check if it contain email messages or not. If it's not empty then we will use send email and email messages let's save it and then deploy it messaging dot single email message messaging so let's add it dot add email so we have added the uh, email on opportunity on e single email messages now let's test it out let's create a product or opportunity line item new save save and now let's check if we have received an email or not so we have received an email and this is the email product name is null product code null also the unit price is 5000 thanks support help so that's the scenario which we have covered in this video. See you in the next one.